There's thousands of people on the streets of Washington, D.C. today learning about the world in which we live. We are on Embassy Row, and we're called the Embassy Row Hotel for a very great reason, because we're surrounded by all these fabulous countries. where embassies adopt local D.C. public school classrooms to teach the kids about their culture, their heritage, and expand their global awareness. What do you hope to find here? A lot of artifacts and probably meet an ambassador. We're trying to show that there's a lot that the Arabs can offer and there's a lot that brings the, other, uh, the Arab together. You like sugar cane? You're Asian. You like coconut juice? You're Asian. You like dancing? You're Asian. This is a, a mark of uh, friendship between Morocco and the, and the United States. We have uh, the, the hospitality of Mozambique, and we have the beauty of my country. This is done by women, and uh, the skill is uh, taught from, I mean, mother to daughter. The Higantona dances around in the, in the neighborhoods to celebrate all the different festivities. We're showcasing uh, photos of different parts of Colombia. It's an opportunity to display our culture, our history, the potential of Libya. This is a festival time for us. We prepare all the wide range of food and it is, uh, it is a hit. We encourage that we'll have a lot of tourists coming to visit Kenya. We decided to have a tourism team uh, as Haiti is trying to progress away from the disaster of the earthquake. We have a lot of good things in, uh, in Ivory Coast and since uh, we have a new president, uh, the president Ouattara, Cote d'Ivoire is back. This is what's going to bring peace to the world. That's understanding each other and strengthening each other's culture, um, educate each other about so many different um, aspects of their life. We're glad because we get to interact with people from all over the world, not only uh, Washingtonians, but also people from other places, so it's very wonderful. We have a, a Belizean celebrity chef down there whom you should meet. So today I'm representing the Maya, the Garifuna, the Mestizo, and the Creole. Uh, you know, I very much appreciate the efforts being made by your team and, and, and the wider community in Washington to really embrace the idea of cultural exchange, to embrace the idea of multilateralism. We are trying to show that we are a little bit more than samba and soccer, but of course we love those things as well. By now more people learned in one day about uh, what happens in our countries than they would otherwise do many, many presentations we would make. This is the language without words, and when you actually move in the way that other people move, you understand their everyday chores, you understand what they think is beautiful, how they have a sense of community. In the Embassy of Pakistan, we have a lot of uh, different displays of our cultural display. We have documentaries, we have uh, dance performances, music, art. We have Ethiopian cuisine, we have photograph exhibition, and we have dancers. Bangladesh has a very rich culture. It's religion, uh, it's music. We have nearly 4,000 visitors. So our culture and our great food. In Ghana, Embassy, we are trying to tell people where we come from, our identity. Culture is an identity of people. If you don't learn other people's culture, you lose yours. Thank you for joining us for Passport DC's Around the World Embassy Tour in Washington, DC.